Hey, happy Monday. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 18th of May, 2020. We're using my favorite Bonefire Tarot. We had an exciting shuffle, so we got a lot of cards to get through. Three came off the bottom of the deck for us. Our first is the Magician. Next, Eight of Wands. And then the Emperor. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, for many weeks now, we've been in a beautiful flow of manifestation energy, and it's still here with us. It's not going anywhere. Uh, the magician is evidence of that. And the magician typically has all the tools of the tarot at his or her disposal, though rarely ever does the magician pick those tools up, recognizing instead the creativity, the success of our, or successes of our creative nature lie within us. So it's a self-reliant card, though it is a dynamic expression of creativity and manifestation. And this is flowing into the Eight of Wands, which is a super powerful card, in my opinion, as a tarot reader. There's dynamic energy swiftly moving on the eight of wands it's often incoming information and i feel it's often intuitive inspiration or inspiration delivered intuitively <laughs> and eights always have motion so we're on the move we're on the move with our manifestation energy and we have the emperor here and i love that the emperor is here we've got aries energy mars We've, it's direct. What I love most about the emperor is that he is wise and experienced and generous of spirit. So take all of these beautiful meanings on these cards and filter them through yourself. This is what you have to offer today. The magic of you in motion with your own manifestation and through a really stable energy of the emperor there. He's solid. He's not going anywhere. This, <laughs> this energy from the emperor brings us stability. We have stability already in the eight of wands. Eights are double fours. Fours in tarot are strong, stable foundations. So there's confirmation of that. And it's an orchestration of energy upon our foundation in a very wise and experienced, stable way through the day today. And mixed in it is excitement, surprise, delight, creativity, passion, fire, momentum, enthusiasm. It's all wrapped up in these three cards, though super stable. Oh, that means you are grounded. You are centered in your own self. You are wide open to surprise and delight, and you are also wide open to sharing that. Let's see what it connects to in the rest of the cards. First is Queen of Cups. Well, inspiration delivered intuitively there it is you know i was reading up on the queen of cups recently and in this particular book i was reading uh the author stated that the queen of cups puts her heart where her mouth is and i immediately thought of bone fire tarot because look at this she's got the ace of cups right underneath her mouth <laughs> she speaks love alive and awake into the world through her through her intuition and look we have the magician and the eight of wands moving through the emperor and i'm so glad i read this recently too about this queen so we're channeling that wonderful inspired energy we're speaking it right out of our intuitive nature with love where it's all heart in our words it's beautiful into the ace of cups which then becomes an overflow for us and we see the ace of cups a lot recently so that's beautiful coming with her <laughs> well let's just back up the intuition a little bit more with the high priestess wow okay you have to love that what a combination right there the queen of cups and the high priestess She's the minor, the queen is the minor arcana representation of the high priestess. So, you don't even have to switch on your intuitive dial today. <laughs> you don't have to pack up the cart and travel across some great land to get to your intuition because 
it is just going to be flowing out of you today and it's going to connect with the swift moving dynamic co-creative energies of the divine all that is off the magician and the eight of wands filtered through a really stable secure solid man of steel type energy there on the emperor that's fantastic and where's this all going <laughs> into the three of cups well why not so the ladies on the three of cups you're looking at temperance strength and justice there on this card so you have more major arcana energy right there so we've got the magician we've got the emperor we've got the high priestess and now we have a combo deal a combo package of strength justice temperance my feeling here is that there's a huge move and a huge shake on the foundation which is super solid so it's not going to crack come down or anything like that but dynamic exciting successful creative passionate energy is coming to life on the foundation for us today Ooh, beautiful and what are we going to do with that <laughs> well seven of wands we're going to get introduced to one of our potential boundaries or limitations it's almost like how much how much magical manifestation flow can you take wait I got to get defensive about this for a minute. <laughs> so this is a card as I look at, at it today of reaction. So we may react in a way that surprises us defensively even. All right. So here's what you consider when you see the seven of wands, or here's what I consider when I see the seven of wands before it is the six and the six is all about victory, success, homecoming to your own heart space. Look at all that over here with the Queen of Cups, you know, speaking her heart into the Ace of Cups intuitively, co-creating with the Divine All, and then celebrating that type of energy. You know, the Three of Cups, too, is a card of a certainty of within self-relationship. You've got your own back, and you have people in your life that harmonize, resonate to this frequency as well. So you have, you are likely surrounded by people who also are in excitement and anticipation in creative, supportive energy for your dreams, goals, and, and intentions as you share them, magician. So then we have seven of wands, six of wands facing the one. And the six of wands represent victory, success, homecoming to your own heart space. But there's this one defensive wand. And this is where we snag on the ego. So something in this sends up, oh, I don't know, a smoke signal. <laughs> and we take that as a caution. We see that on our own horizon and we feel a sense of caution. That sense of caution is coming from prior experience where things were not so stable, solid, strong, certain. And that can become the pebble in the shoe. And this will engage our defensive ego. It will pop up. We'll hear that old tape loop of whatever it was we were saying to ourselves at the time. Something like, oh, it's too good to be true. Or, hmm, I'm not sure that this is positive because of, you know. Whatever that tape loop is for you. It's a vulture thought. That's what it is. Notice it circling. <laughs> and then love the heck out of it. So we can just fly away. Consider that. Let's see what comes next. Two cards. First is the Fool. Mm. New beginnings, fresh starts. More excited anticipation and less concerned with consequences. And I like that flow when the Seven of Wands is sitting right next to that. Because this confirms for me that we come through this old programmed belief or thought process we come through it quickly we recognize oh I've just bumped into one of my own boundaries one of my own limitations what have I not considered here how can I release this vulture thought thank you ego for giving me a nudge to the ribs and letting me know that I was still harboring this type of energy perfect and then we move on from that right into the fool's energy another major arcana card represented here on the table this is bringing fresh thought, fresh perspective, 
your raw joy. You're not getting hung up on this minor snag. You recognized it, you saw it, you validated it, you loved it, you kept going. Because how can you not feel a sense of rejuvenation and revitalization when you have this kind of flow going on? And this has been going on for weeks for us. Okay, coming with the Fool. Perfect, Queen of Swords. Now, that is so excellent <laughs> because she does not suffer any nonsense. And that's what happens over here on the seven. I'm not calling our defenses or even our, our, our very necessary ego. You know, everyone talks about, oh, the ego must die. No, the ego has an actual purpose. It's just, you don't hand over the reins to the ego. You pay attention, you take a look at the landscape, you, you take in all the information rather than allowing this one snag to rule the show. The ego is only going to alert you to something that is a caution for you. And each time that caution comes up, you have the opportunity to settle it in a loving, kind, compassionate way and keep going. And with the queen of swords right next to the fool, the fool is considered someone inexperienced in the tarot. I disagree with that because the fool circles, cycles the major arcana in repetition. So... I feel the fool has it all while also traveling quite lightly with next to nothing. <laughs> it's excellent. Anyway, Queen of Swords with the fool, you have a very discerning queen there. She makes decisions decisively. And one of her messages is that she does not suffer a fool lightly. <laughs> Isn't that great? So any foolishness connected to Whatever got snagged on your ego, even momentarily, in a vulture thought here on the seven, the queen's going to run a sword through it quickly. And that is us engaging our self-mastery within self-relationships so that we recognize these moments and we allow the victory, success, and the heart-whelming energies to continue their flow. We bring the sword to that. This is brilliant clarity, everlasting strength. And we keep right on going. Now that's two messages of strength in the reading with the Three of Cups, because we have strength represented there, and brilliant clarity, which we also have in combo with the Magician and the Emperor together. Beautiful pairing of cards. <laughs> okay, next set, there are three. The first is Three of Swords. Yeah, you know, this connects so nicely to our Seven of Wands. This is pain, loss, sorrow of the past. And we've got a queen holding the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is penetrating the center of this heart. This is about getting to the heart of the matter. And it has a great connection to our Seven of Wands. It's exactly what the vulture thought is going to do. It's going to snag in the flow for us and give us an opportunity to have perspective, contrast, and... Yeah, taking the opportunity to see the protect the perspective, the contrast, and take action with it. We're not going to linger or wallow there. We're going to recognize that this is a momentary caution. And where are we going with it? Right into the Eight of Cups. Yes, because Eight of Cups usually has connection to a recent eclipse. So I say go back to the most uh, recent ones, at least two or three back, and take a look at whatever journaling you were doing or whatever life events were unfolding during those last eclipses. Now, I know we do have one coming up, I think, in June. So this is an oncoming energy too, but it's very light. For me, this is from before because of your Three of Swords. This is energy that's already come to pass and some of it's revisiting for us and we're still in motion. This is the Eight of Cups. The, the Eights in Terror are all about movement. And the flow has not stopped. So what's so lovely here, if you take all of these cards right now in their totality, you are seeing your self-mastery in action. No longer are you allowing these momentary cautions to just take you out of the flow altogether. You're seeing them for what they are. You're actually having gratitude and appreciation for them and you're not stagnating. You just keep right on moving. And where are you going? 
into the Ten of Cups. How beautiful is that? I don't even have... <laughs> I don't have words for that. Just take the moment and really appreciate yourself and how you are moving through these energies within your own connection to you and how that creates the most loving ripple effect in your broadcast. And that's what you have to share everywhere. Ten of Cups. The, the Ten of Cups is sitting on the super stable foundation that you see over here with the Magician, the Eight of Wands, and the Emperor. And then all of this other energy is singing, dancing, moving, shaking on that foundation. And we're not being hung up in any of it. Vulture thoughts enter, but they exit just as quickly. Fantastic. All right, angel answers, questions, inquiries, confirmations. What do the angels have to say to us today? <laughs> Love this. Be assertive. Yeah. And I love this one too. Take action. I feel that here with the Fool and the Queen of Swords. Again, we're being assertive. We have a Seven of Wands moment here, <laughs> which allows us to see, reflect upon our victory and our success. Beautiful. And then we continue moving with the action. <laughs> Next. Do you think they're really trying to get a point across to us? Don't stop. <laughs> Emphatically, don't stop. Because what's waiting for you at the end of this rainbow? Ten of Cups, right? It's not even about waiting. It's already here. It's here. We're navigating this. And then trust. Trust yourself. Trust your decisions, your decisiveness. And trust your own heart to be loving, kind, and compassionate to you. All the way through. <laughs> All right, affirmation for the day from the universe has our back. What do we have? Oh, that was from that was from last week. Hang on. We need a fresh one. I am the dreamer of my dream. There's your magician right there. <laughs> yeah so be assertive with that trust it take action don't stop keep going because it's all about you and your be big beautiful dream <laughs> all right let's see what our spirit animal is today back again the blue jay this is for you to investigate on your own See what message or what the spirit of Blue Jay has to say to you. And then our return of spirit card. Something for us to contemplate, perhaps meditate on throughout the day. Asking yourself, what have I not considered? We have confidence. Mm. And there's the emperor. <laughs> On repeat in the reading and then <clears throat> let's pick one right out of the middle of the deck here simplicity mmm very sweet yeah confidence doesn't have to come on like a storm it can come on like a whisper too <laughs> And the simple is profound. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please continue to like, share, subscribe here on the channel. Your comments are so beautiful. Thank you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Peace, love, joy, blessings. Namaste.